get it. I've run every single test. I cannot figure out why this guy is in so much pain. Did you run a DUH test? What's a DUH? Uh, no. The guy is a drug addict trying to score painkillers. But he refused drugs. <laughs> My bad. He is a very clever drug addict. Look, I hate to question your three years of wisdom, but your pain guy is just like a million other drug addicts who walk into hospitals every year with their aches and their pains and their spasms and their cramps and their myalgia and their neuralgia and their otialgia and their every other algae they can possibly think of just so they can get a fix. Well, I believe in this guy. Would you like to go out on a limb, sign him in, keep him overnight? You know, Dr. Cox, you think that you have seen it all and done it all, but guess what? <laughs> you haven't done me. Give her a second there, gang. That didn't come out right. Go! Thanks. Oh, great. You're getting medication for your pain patient. But say, why stop there? How's about we load up our fanny packs with happy pills, drive downtown, I'll hang out of the sunroof, and we can just throw fistfuls of them right at drug addicts, and it'll be like a big happy parade. <laughs> amazing about you you have this unbelievable ability to make me doubt myself i don't think i could possibly make you doubt yourself you rascal unless you had the unnatural talent for being wrong most of the time well i'm not wrong i just saw mr thompson writhing in pain and he had no idea that i was watching him but you probably don't care about that because you're more concerned with being right than doing what's right aren't you mr thompson i've decided i'd like to prescribe you something for the pain well, you know, that's your call. There's just one little problem. Oh, my God, just give me the drugs, okay, lady? For God's sake, I've been working you from every possible angle. I refused painkillers. I did the, you're the greatest doctor bit, which I know you loved. Then somewhere between uh, getting a tube in my ass and a tube in my mouth, which, by the way, still praying wasn't the same tube, I found time to do the whole, I'm ready to get pain, but I don't know if you're watching me thing. So please, or pretty please, or whatever you want me to say it, doctor, why don't you say it? Why don't you say it? Why don't you tell me what the problem is and say it? Um, I was just going to say that my pen doesn't work and needed a new one to write out your dosage. Oh. Awesome. It's the hundredth time. Say it. You're always right. I know, but it is still so nice to hear it. How did you know that he was lying? Well, you said that he wasn't. And as a rule, I always take whatever you say and just go in the exact opposite direction with it. But more than that, Barbie, the main reason is because, well, look, at medicine is all about experience. And hell, would you, <laughs> would you like to go ahead and have a look at who the last doctor was to give Thompson drugs? You? Why didn't you say something earlier? I want to give up my front row seat to Barbie's wild ride. He's a drug addict. He's not a drug addict. You make me do myself up. <laughs> I'm more interested in being late than doing what's later. I don't even think I can take it anymore. 